Hey there everybody, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today we got kind of a special one, a little bit different here. We're going to rank the studio albums of the great Chicago, but we're just going to do the Terry Cath years. All right, so basically this is these are all the studio albums released by the band from the late 60s all the way to the, uh, eh, right about what, 77 or so. These are all the albums, the studio albums that Terry Kath, one of the greatest guitar players ever, who left us uh, way, way too soon from a self-inflicted gunshot uh, wound. And uh, I will say some great albums here. You know, I, I'm sure we're getting a lot of people who are like, you know, follow the channel like Chicago. Come on, Pete, man. All those sappy ballads and stuff. It's like, all right. Maybe the 80s stuff had a lot of sappy ballads and up in more recent releases, right? But come on, those late six, the late 60s material and all most of those 70s albums are damn good. If you haven't heard them, don't judge, go out and listen. Uh, not only do you have a lot, you know, you got some hits there as well, um, you know, pop and rock hits, but you got some really adventurous, hard driving horn led guitar led rock and roll some prog some jazz and jazz fusion a lot of some funk a lot of great stuff on those early chicago albums so if all you know are like those you know early 80s mid 80s hits and you hate all that stuff you gotta go listen to some of the early stuff i'm telling you I'm telling you uh and today we're gonna we're doing this as kind of like a tribute to the greatness of terry kath i mean just such a fantastic guitar player one of the greats on the Telecaster and the Stratocaster, right? He also played some SGs. He played, I've seen, I've seen pictures of him playing Les Pauls, but mostly he was a Telecaster guy. Uh, and, man, just some fantastic guitar playing on all these albums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank the Terry Kath Chicago albums from my least favorite to my favorite. <clears throat> I will say these are all really strong. So the ones that, are, you know, maybe towards the bottom, still really good. All right, so uh, we're going to start off with Chicago 10, all right, otherwise known as the Chocolate Bar album cover, right, <laughs> released in uh, 1976, okay, this is, uh, again, another pretty terrific album, it's got some hits on here, you got some really strong material, some rock, some jazz, a little bit of funk, you know, you got the great skin tight, a great funky tune. You got once or twice, You Are On My Mind, kind of a mild hit for the band. You got Together Again, uh, Another Rainy Day in New York City, good pop song, another mild hit for the band. Mama Mia, Scrapbook, Gently I'll Wake You, You Get It Up, and Hope for Love. <clears throat> uh, a, ver a very strong album. Not my favorite from, obviously, as you can see where it places on the list, from uh, the Kath years, but I still think a, a fun, fun album. Uh, you know, with the chocolate bar cover and all that kind of stuff. Good stuff. Good production on there as well. Coming in next, I'm going to go with Chicago 11 from 1977. This would be the last release that Terry appears on. He would actually uh, leave us just a few short months after this album was released. Good way to go out, though. Um, strong stuff. You got Mississippi Delta City Blues, a scorching blues rock tune with some incendiary molten guitar licks from Terry Kath. You got the big hit, Baby, What a Big Surprise. Huge hit for the man. Uh, Till the End of Time, you got Policeman. Take Me Back to Chicago, kind of a cool bluesy jazz number. All right, you got Vote For Me, another great song. Taking It on the Uptown, a kick-ass hard rock song. I'm telling you, people, if all, if all you think about Chicago is the, the real cheesy 80s stuff, go listen to Taking It on the Uptown. I'm telling you killer guitar work on there you got this time the inner struggles of a man prelude little one and of course little one prelude to little one and little one uh i think you know kath i think was becoming uh, a little frustrated with the bands leaning towards you know more pop related stuff or the hits which you know every album had a few of them but i think you know the stuff that he wrote and sang on, on this really really good and uh he was just i think if he would have if he would have lived and left the band, because a lot of what you hear uh, and read about his time in the band, especially towards the end, is that he was seriously considering leaving Chicago because he wanted to kind of go in some different musical directions. And you can only stop and think and wonder, like, what some Terry Kath solo albums would have sounded like based on the tunes that he wrote and sang on and performed on these uh, Chicago albums. So great stuff. Good album, though. Really good album. All right, next up, we're going to go with Chicago 6. Chicago 6 coming out in 1973. 
And there is Mr. Kath on the end right there. All right. All, all these albums are the original band, right? So the same lineup for all these albums. Uh, what do you got in here? You got Critics' Choice. Great song. Just You and Me. Another big hip hop hit for the band. You got Darlin' Dear. You got Jenny. Great song. Uh, What's This World Coming To? Something in the City Changes People. I think it's got some cool jazz flavors on this album, right? You got Hollywood. All right. In terms of two, Rediscovery and the great upbeat rock tune feeling stronger every day. Uh, just a great uh, one of my favorite Chicago tracks. Definitely a top 10 Chicago song. Uh, a very, very, very strong album. Coming next, we're going to go with uh, Chicago 8. I actually like this one a little better. Came out in 1975. This has uh, got some uh, another great selection of songs. More of a rocking album, I think. Okay. You've got uh, Any Way You Want kicking it all off. Getting you know, a good pop hooks and and you know bits of you know the horns are just spectacular on all these albums but you know certain songs man they just really shown pop hooks mixed with rock and jazz uh you know brand new love affair parts one and two great slow builder of a song good hooks in that never been in love before i dig that song a lot all right again very atmospheric minor hit for the band uh you got hideaway probably the heaviest song they ever did with great vocals from Peter Cetera. Go and listen to Hideaway. It's got great fuzz-laden guitar riffs, scorching solos, and a very aggressive vocal by Peter Cetera. I'm telling you, another song to go listen to if you're not familiar with the old Chicago stuff. Hideaway, it's great. Uh, you got Till We Meet Again, fantastic song. Harry Truman, another legendary track by the band, a great deep album cut. Uh, oh, Thank You, Great Spirit. <clears throat> All right, some nice Hendrixy guitar playing from Kath on that. Long Time No See, Ain't It Blue, and then one of my favorite Chicago songs, Old Days. Uh, Old Days is great because it's got just really good, almost like heavy metal riffing on the song from Kath, but then great pop vocals from Peter Cetera. It's just a fantastic song, which I dig quite a bit. Coming in next, uh, an oddity in the Chicago discography, but I think a uh, favorite of a lot of people because it's like probably their, their, their jazz album. All right, and I'm talking about Chicago 7. Okay. This is, a, you know, they released a bunch of double disc sets. Uh, this is a double album. You've got, uh, you know, one, one LP. One is mostly all jazz, a lot of instrumental stuff, a lot of jazz and jazz fusion, really atmospheric stuff. And then you got the more rock and pop based stuff. You've got the Prelude to Air. Uh, you got Air, Devil Suite. Italian from New York, all right, a lot of good funk stuff going on here as well, Hanky Panky, Lifesaver, Happy Man, I've Been Searching So Long, another one of those, um, another one of those real, of course someone trying to Skype me now, uh, one of those real kind of atmospheric pop tunes, uh, Mongo Nucleosis, another very, very cool song, uh, Song of the Evergreens, Biblos, Wishing You Were Here, another kind of hit for the band, Call On Me, Women Don't Want to Love Me, and Skinny Boy. A lot of really good stuff going on in this album. Uh, I think it's very adventurous. The, you know, this album didn't sell that well compared to some of the other ones. I mean, it's, it's sold because it was Chicago, and Chicago were huge during that time. But a lot of people were kind of like, hmm. And, you know, then they go and play a lot of this stuff live, and people are like, hmm. Where's all the songs we know? What's up with all this instrumental jazz stuff they're doing here? But i got to love it, right? got a lot of credit for that. Next up, I'm going to go with Chicago 3. Okay, their, their third double album in a row. Imagine that. You new band, you come bust out of the gate with three double albums in a row. And then you put out Live at Chica uh, Carnegie Hall, which is like, you know, four albums, whatever the hell it was, right? A monumental uh, live release. But Chicago 3, very strong as well. This came out in 1971. Uh, you've got all the, the, the suites, right? The long suites. You've got the travel suite. You've got An Hour in the Shower and uh, Elegy. All right. But then you got good hard rocking tunes like Sing a Mean Tune Kid, right? Lonely, this is just a word, kind of cool, funky, and jazzy. What else can I say? I Don't Want Your Money, another grinding heavy rock song from the band with some killer Terry Kath guitar playing on there. Uh, all sorts of other stuff going on here, you know, Free Country, Mother, Low Down, got Dreaming Home, Once Upon a Time, a lot of great stuff on here. More adventurous, very kind of atmospheric stuff from the band. A lot of horn arrangements going on this album. Very, very good stuff. Probably would have ranked it a little higher um, in, in a top three album if it wasn't for this one. I just love Chicago 5. 
dig it, dig it, dig it. 1972. Some of my more of my favorite Chicago stuff is on here. Uh, you got a hit by Varese. Great song. Uh, a lot of really cool kind of proggy things going on. Keyboards and horns. Very intricate uh, arrangements. All as well. Now that you've gone, great song. You've got dialogue parts one and part two. Love the funky grooves of those songs and some killer rhythm guitar from Terry Kath. Uh, you got While the City Sleeps, more like a poppy jazz tune, right? Saturday in the Park, <clears throat> very popular song from the band. Okay, State of the Union, another great song. Goodbye and Alma Mater. All right, Alma Mater, great uh, Kath vehicle there. All right, the top two, you know, there was never a doubt about this. Um, I'm going to go with Chicago or Chicago 2, as a lot of people call it, from 1970. All right, I've got the, here's the, uh, the, the remaster. Okay, and here's the Stephen Wilson remix, which is fantastic. Uh, released in January 1970. You know, moving in, the road, poem for the people, in the country, wake up sunshine. Then you've got the lengthy, sweet ballet for a girl in Buchanan, which, of course, houses uh, Make Me Smile, which they took out of that suite to make, make a single. Great song, so much to say, so much to give. Uh, to be free, 25 or 6 to 4 is in here as well. Uh, man, so many great AM morning, PM morning, memories of love, color my world. Then you got the bitter end soon movement, which is a uh, basically a five part movement, and uh, to finish off the album, just the fantastic stuff. Another great double album, and one of one of the great double albums in rock history, I think. Just again mixing, you know, R and B and blues and jazz and rock and hard rock and prog and all this stuff just kind of mingling together. But for me. The best Chicago album by far. Well, not by far, because Chicago 2 is damn good. But the one that just has always been my favorite, and it's one of my favorite albums of all time. I'm talking about the Chicago Transit Authority. This is their first album, their debut from 1969, before they, they shortened the name to Chicago. If you want to listen to the ultimate Terry Kath guitar extravaganza, you absolutely need to have and listen to this. That, that There's no other way to say it. This is one of the most important guitar albums of all time that just doesn't get enough credit. Uh, this He just absolutely slays on this album. And this is the band busting out of the gate with their debut album, going for it. Hints of psychedelia, hard rock, blues rock, jazz, prog, R&B, pop. It's all on here. Uh, the horn arrangements are fantastic. The guitar playing is tremendous. The solos are otherworldly. All right. I mean, he's just soloing all over the place on here. All right. His use of wah wah and fuzz, amazing. You got the incredible introduction. Good, funky, jazzy. Got lots of rock to it. Dun -dun 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 I mean, it's just amazing. Does anybody really know what time it is? Their big pop hit from this album, right? Uh, you got beginnings. Cool acoustic tones, great chorus, great song. You got question 67, 68, majestic. You've got listen, very cool, kind of funky hard rock tune. You got the amazing poem 58. I mean, the guitar work on that song is just absolutely smoldering. One of the best Chicago songs ever and one of the best guitar songs ever. Uh, you've got freeform guitar, which is all Kath doing, using fuzz and whammy bar theatrics. It's noisy to some, but it's still very cool ahead of its time. Uh, you got the incredible South California Purples, another great kind of hard rock and bluesy tune with blistering solos. You got one of the best cover songs of all time, I'm a Man. Spencer Davis classic done here. Absolutely. This is my favorite version of it. I think the Chicago version is even a little bit better than the Spencer Davis original. It's just me. Uh, you got prologue, August 29th, 1968. You got someday, August 29th, 1968. Okay. And then finishing it off with the amazing liberation. Another lengthy tune with lots of great guitar solos from Kath. Uh, you know, if you think some of his best wah wah solos are in 25 or 624, you need to listen to this album, folks. I'm telling you. Uh, absolutely happening. Uh, again, one of the best debuts of all time. One of my favorite albums of all time, Chicago Transit Authority. There you have it. Let's recap. All right. So uh, this is the Terry Kath Chicago Show. These are the albums you need to be listening to from Chicago. And, the, and these are the orders I pick them in. Chicago Transit Authority coming in at number one. Number two, you've got... Chicago or Chicago 2 as a lot of people like to call it coming in at number three you got Chicago 5 coming in at number four Chicago 3 coming in at number five Chicago 7 
I lost track. Where was I? Seven? Eight? I don't even know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Next up, Chicago, eight. I always lose track of the numbers, guys. What can I tell you? Chicago, six. Next up, we got Chicago, 11. And then Chicago, 10. So some of you might be asking, well, what, what, all these numbers that they put on the albums, you seem to be missing some. Well, what they did was they counted, like, the Carnegie Hall was officially like Chicago 4, all right? And then they had a greatest hit set, which uh, fell in here was Chicago 9 or something like that. So that's kind of how they get it. They just numbered the albums, whether they were hits, studio, or live, that sort of thing. So there you have it. All right, so guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're watching this and you're more of like a metal fan or a prog fan and all you think, you know, your, your recollections and your opinions of Chicago is all about that early mid 80s you know pop stuff and the dreamy ballads that all the women loved uh that sold millions and millions of records and you think that that's all that chicago is about forget it just forget all that stuff and listen to some of these albums i'm telling you please do it do it for me all right if you are well versed in this early chicago and you know exactly what i'm talking about two thumbs up right so that's very cool but uh, for those of you who have never listened to this stuff all right Please do so. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. This is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're on the mighty YouTube all the damn time. What do we got coming out? I just figured I'm going to squeeze another one in today. Uh, we're going to get uh, top uh, ranking the studio albums from Paul McCartney and Wings. That's coming up. Also this weekend, we're going to rank the studio albums of Motorhead. We're going to rank the studio albums of Caravan. And we're going to do top 10 songs with Jack Toledano for Accept. So that's all coming up this weekend. You don't want to miss any of it, right? So sit back, enjoy. We'll see you real soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.